that I prepared uh, eight eggs and I separated the yolks here and the egg whites here and uh, 160 grams of flour, uh, 160 grams of sugar, 80 grams of melted but um, cool uh, butter and a pinch of salt. First of all, I'm going to whisk the egg whites with half of the quantity of the sugar. That's uh, 60 grams. Roughly half of the sugar. I'm going to whisk the egg whites until they are fluffy and um, hard picks uh, form. The egg whites are uh, ready and now I'm going to whisk the yolks with a pinch of salt. And the other half of the sugar. And I'm going to pour the egg yolks into the egg whites. and mix uh, to combine the two here I'll pour the melted butter but it's uh, room temperature keep in mind it's not hot so beautiful colors here Look at this. Now slowly, I'm going to add the flour, which I'm going to swift first. And with large movements from the bottom to the top, I'm going to incorporate all the flour. I have incorporated all the flour. I am going to Pour some of the butter in here and using a spatula I'm going to spread it inside this circle now this will go in the oven and I'm going to proceed like this until I finish all my uh, sheets to prepare the cream of the cake I'm going to use four eggs to uh, which I'm going to add 200 grams of powdered sugar, a pinch of salt, and about one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And I'm going to whip the uh, eggs until they are going to triple in volume. Once the egg tripled their volume, I'm going to transfer the bowl on the top of a pot with simmering hot water. Here I have a pot with uh, simmering hot water and I'm going to add the eggs. With a whisk, I'm going to whisk continuously until the uh, texture thickens or until it reaches uh, 75 degrees Celsius. 
if you don't have a thermometer you can touch with your finger the uh, egg uh, mixture should be hot to the touch I've been doing that for 10 minutes now I'm going to turn off the fire and pull the uh, eggs aside I took the eggs uh, aside and here I'm going to add 200 grams of dark chocolate with at least uh, 52 percent uh, cocoa i'm gonna let it sit for two three minutes and then i'm gonna start stirring it i'm gonna stir uh, the chocolate into the eggs butter And now I'm going to let the cream aside until it reaches uh, room temperature. Only after the egg cream has cooled down, I'm going to add 300 grams of butter in the bowl of a mixer. I'm going to start mixing the butter. I want to make it creamy. Meanwhile, adding 30 grams of cocoa, step by step. The other cream, it's already at room temperature, so I'm going to start adding from it to the butter. little by little the cream is ready now I'm going to put it in the fridge for about uh, five minutes and then I'm going to start assemble the cake here are the sheets that I baked. I'm going to choose one that's uh, good looking to keep it for the top. I'm going to put it aside. And with the rest, I'm going to start assembling the cake. Now, I took the cream out of the fridge. And I'm going to peel the... Uh, one by one and I'm going to start uh, cover them with cream I'm going to add the next uh, layer. And continue like this until I finish all the cake except the last uh, sponge which I'm going to glaze it with caramel. I'm going to place the cake in the fridge for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare the caramel glaze for the top uh, sheet of sponge. For the caramel glaze of the cake, I'm going to add 150 grams of uh, granulated sugar to a saucepan together with uh, one teaspoon of vinegar and I'm going to melt it from time to time uh, you can brush the sides with um, a brush uh, with water
from the caramel color turned dark brown I'm going to drop here 10 grams of butter and I'm going to take it aside from the fire now I'm going to pour the caramel on the sheet that I kept and with a spatula greased with butter I'm gonna spread it evenly Now same with the greased knife, I am going to cut the caramel glazed sheet. And here is the last sheet of the cake glazed with caramel. I'm going to bring the cake out of the fridge and gonna start decorating. I took the cake out of the fridge and now using some roasted and crushed nuts I'm going to uh, dress the sides of the cake and that's uh, totally optional you can use any nuts you like walnuts or almonds I have here uh, some almonds some cream which I placed in a piping bag and with it I am going to make some supports for the caramel glazed top sheet And uh, here it is, the dobo storte, it's uh, ready. Now I'm going to place it in the fridge for uh, two hours if you're in a hurry, but it's better to stay overnight. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Bye.